Hi, it's Miss Sarah from the Oakley Branch Library, and today we are going to make a water xylophone using instructions shared by the Greater Cincinnati STEM Collaborative. To begin, gather four or more glass jars or drinking glasses, whatever you have available at home. I had eight small jars, so that's what I used. You want to fill each glass with water making sure that the first glass has the most and each glass after that has less water than the glass before it. This activity will investigate sound and pitch using water. How do you think each jar will sound when we hit it with a spoon? All the same? Will some be high pitched and some low pitched? Making a guess about what will happen in an experiment is called a hypothesis. What's your hypothesis? I think it's a little hard to tell how much water is in each jar, so let's add some food coloring to make it easier to see. I decided to put different colors in each jar to make a rainbow. I had six different colors to fill seven jars so I had to mix some red food coloring and a little bit of yellow food coloring to make the orange for my rainbow. The last jar stays empty. Do you have a hypothesis about how that jar will sound compared to all the others? The color of the water won't actually affect the sound each jar makes when we tap it with the spoon. You will get the same results if you don't add any color at all. Use whatever you have at home. You could make all the water the same color. What's your favorite color? You could also choose two or more colors and make a pattern. What you choose to do with the colors is up to you. Take a spoon and mix the food coloring into the water if you are using colors. Once all the colors are mixed in, we can begin to test our hypothesis by tapping the jars lightly with a spoon. Try each jar by itself to see what kind of sound it makes. You can also try tapping out a beat using two spoons. I highly recommend running the spoon along the outside of each jar as fast as you can. What will you try? How do the jars with more water sound compared to jars with less water? Here are a few things that I tried out. I hope you enjoy watching! Thanks so much for watching today, everyone. I hope you had fun experimenting, and we'll see you next time. Bye. For more STEM cards, visit the Greater Cincinnati STEM Collaborative.